Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the example 5 from chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the examples 1 to 4, exercise 3.1 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above the video. The example 5 from chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables. The question says, graphically find whether the following pair of equation has no solution, unique solution or infinitely many solutions. The given two equations are 5x minus 8y plus 1 equal to 0 and 3x minus 20 4 by 5 y plus 3 by 5 is equal to 0. So in the introduction part of exercise 3.5 we have already discussed when the two given equation have no solution, when they have unique solution or if they have infinitely many solutions. So when we represent these two equations graphically, each equation represents a line on a graph. When these two equations represent two lines parallel to each other, then we can say that the two equations have no solution at all because they do not intersect each other. Similarly, when the two lines intersect each other at a point, then they said to have a unique solution at this intersection of these two lines. Similarly, we can obtain infinite number of solutions when the two given lines overlap or coincide one upon the other. In that case, we obtain infinite number of solutions. All the points obtained on this given line will give you the infinite number of solutions for these two given equations. So now let us find out for the given two equations whether they have a no solution or unique solution or infinite number of solutions. So the first equation given here is 5x minus 8y plus 1 equal to 0. So let us take this equation as equation number 1. So to represent this equation graphically, first of all let us find out the x value from the given equation. 5x is equal to, let us send all the other terms on the right hand side. Minus 8y will become plus 8y and plus 1 will become minus 1. Now again we can send this 5 to right hand side. So x is equal to 8y minus 1 divided by 5. We obtain the x value from the given equation. Now let us substitute the value of y and obtain the x values here. First let us take the y value as equal to 1. Substituting the y value x is equal to 8 into 1 minus 1 divided by 5. So this will be 8 into 1 is 1 minus 1 by 5. So this is 8 minus 1 is 7 divided by 5. If we divide 7 by 5, 5 ones are 5, 2 is the remainder. If you add a point here, we can add a 0. So 5 fours are 20. So we obtain a decimal value of 7 by 5 as 1.4. So this is the x value. Similarly, when we substitute y is equal to 2, so x is equal to 8 into 2 minus 1 divided by 5. 8 into 2 is 16 minus 1 by 5. So that is 15 by 5. 5 1 times 5 3 times. So here we obtain x value as equal to 3. It is enough if you obtain two values of x and y or you can also obtain more values. So here let us draw the table now. So this is x and this is y. So for y equal to 1, we got x value as 1.4. For y equal to 2, we got x value as 3. Now similarly from the second equation which is given as 3x minus 24 by 5y plus 3 by 5 is equal to 0. From here I can obtain the x value. So sending all the other terms to right hand side we obtained 3x is equal to this minus 24 by 5y will become 20 plus 24 by 5y minus this will become minus 3 by 5. So here both the denominators are 5. So let us take the common denominator and the numerator will be 24y minus 3 divided by 5. So let us send this 3 to right hand side. So we will get x is equal to 1 by 3 into 24y minus 3 by 5. So here in the numerator you can observe the 3 can be taken as common so that it gets cancelled with this 3 in the new denominator. So if you take 3 outside here you obtain 8 3s are 24 so this will be 8y minus 1 divided by 3 into 5. So this 3 and 3 gets cancelled so x value is equal to 
8y minus 1 divided by 5. If you observe here, the x value you obtain from equation 2 is similar to the x value which you obtained in equation 1 here. Right, so these two values are same. So even if you substitute the value of y as equal to 1 and 2, you will obtain the same value of x. Right, so here for equation 1 and 2, our table will remain same. So let this be x and y. So here if we substitute y as equal to 1, the value we obtained here is 1.4. Similarly, again when we substitute y equal to 2, the x value will be equal to 3 because these two equations from 1 and 2 the equations are same so again substituting the value of y we will obtain same value for x right so now let us plot the graph and find out what kind of solutions we will obtain from these two tables so now here let us plot the graph taking x axis and y axis so the first table which we obtain from first equation that is 5x minus 8y plus 1 equal to 0 is at x equal to 1.4, y equal to 1. So here let us plot at x equal to 1.4. So here we have 1 and 2. So here we have 1.4 and on y axis we have to take 1. So we will obtain a point here. Let us name this point as A and at x equal to 1.4 and y equal to 1. Similarly, at x equal to 3, we have y equal to 2. So again, we obtain a point here. Let us name this point as b at x equal to 3 and y equal to 2. So let us join these two points and draw a line representing the equation 5x minus 8y plus 1 equal to 0. Now again the second table which we obtained from the second equation 3x minus 24 by 5y plus 3 by 5 is equal to 0. Here you can observe that the values of x and y in both the tables are same. So again we will obtain the same point that is at x equal to 1.4 y is equal to 1. So from the second equation we obtained the first point. So let us name this point as p at x equal to 1.4 and y equal to 1. Similarly, the second point is also same that is at x equal to 3, y is equal to 2. So let us name this point as q again at x equal to 3 and y equal to 2. So here we observe the two points are same as the equation 1. So again we will draw a line. So here both the lines obtained from the two equations overlap or coincide. Okay, so let us represent this line with equation 3x minus 24 by 5y plus 3 by 5 is equal to 0. Okay, so here you can observe that the lines are overlapping or coinciding. So therefore, any point on these lines will give you the solutions for both the equation. Therefore, we can say that these two equations have infinite number of solutions since the lines are overlapping or coinciding. So at the end of your answer, you can write down from the graph, we can observe that points on both the lines are common, having common solution, hence the lines coincide. So therefore, both the equations have infinitely many number of solutions. So this is how we solve this example problems. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving example 6 from chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC NSERT math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables shown on the screen. Thank you.